What is going on everybody and welcome to the first episode of the top five. In this episode of the top five, we're gonna talk about we're gonna discuss five ways on how the WWE can improve its cruiserweight division. I personally am a fan of the cruiserweights, but with, with on 205 Live and on Raw, there's just some things they can do to improve it. So, number five, add Kalisto. This just just seems to make sense. Kalisto's like 175 pounds, super athletic. And he's oh he's already been a name on the roster, so add him into the cruiserweight division. Give them a little bit more credibility with because he's beaten other superstars. He's been former United States champion, etc. Number four, add new talent and promote new talent. Since the inception of the cruiserweight division from the cruiserweight classic, they haven't really added any names to the division besides Neville and Austin Aries, who. Which Austin Aries had left, so now just solely Neville. And also, all the cruiserweights that they have, they don't really do anything with Grand Metalik. They rarely do anything with Tony Nese, Drew Gulak. A little bit with Arya Davari and some people like that. But it just. It seems like not everybody is getting their chance in the cruiserweight division. Which. It's kind of like on the main roster with some people not getting their chances like Heath Slater or so on and so forth. But that just promote new talent. Add some new names to the card. Get people familiar with these names so when they, I don't know, are fighting for the title, they don't seem like a nobody. Number three. Don't do as many tag team matches. They're... They do a lot of tag team matches with the Cruiserweight division. I know it gives more people time to shine, but I don't. I personally don't like the tag team matches. Put them in like triple threats and fatal four ways if you want to put more than one, more than two people in a match. Because uh, tag team matches get stale after a while, and fatal four ways you never know what can happen with a fatal four way or how the Cruiserweight's been doing with the fatal five way. Number two, incorporate the main roster. All right. So they are doing this a little bit with the new Cruiserweight Champion, Akira Tozawa, joined up with Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews and Titus Worldwide. But that's just one Cruiserweight star. You don't really see the Cruiserweights interact with the main roster talent that much. And I feel like they're on Raw every week, so why not have them interact? You just feel like a feud would start eventually like that, right? I'm not wrong with that, am I? If I am, please please let me know down below if I am, but I personally don't think that I'm wrong with that. With the Cruiserweights having to interact with the main roster stars at some point in time, since they're always backstage week in and week out. Number one, no limitations. With the Cruiserweights, it's just, they love to, the majority of them love to fly. So I feel like... WWE puts a limitation on their move sets like they do with the main roster and how there's like banned moves and whatever. But with the cruiserweights, I, f I feel like they shouldn't have limitations because the moves that they did in the indies that got them the attention to get the WWE is the moves that they should be doing in the WWE to get the attention of the casual WWE fan who doesn't watch the indies. So. That was my top five list on the way WWE can improve the Cruiserweight division. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if I should continue this series. And consider subscribing for more videos like that. Or like this. Vlogs. Predictions. Unboxings. Etc. So, till next time.